Hey everybody, welcome to the uh, Retecular Strategy Session. I'm in some new office space today, so there's a little bit of an echo, it's an empty room. And uh, the guys who cut the grass just started <laughs> two minutes ago, I kid you not. They knew, they knew this was launching, so I apologize if there are loud lawnmower sounds in the background. I thought I was doing the right thing by getting real office space and not working out of the uh, school bus for a change. So. Uh, thanks for being on today. Enough about me. Uh, I know you guys are busy. The season must be heating up. Hopefully buyers are coming out of the woodwork. Uh, for today's Reticulous basic session, I just want to talk a little bit more about the listing tuber stuff we've been doing because uh, we're uncovering some kind of fun stuff here and, uh, and I think it'll be useful for you guys. Um, especially if you want to use this in a way uh, to close more listings and even lead with it as a way to get listings. You know, um, It just occurred to me before the session that you could uh, use the FISBO tool that's in the members area um, to kind of hit up, you know, or just reply to FISBOs on Craigslist and say, hey, just curious, are you running a YouTube skip this ad commercial for the property? You know, just and just shut up, like send a one line email and see if they reply and see what they say and, and maybe offer to do one for them, you know, some, stuff like that. Uh, this is novel stuff. Uh, you know, it's been around a little while. We took us a while to kind of get around to doing training about it, um, but I think it's good. So. If it's okay, you guys are free, of course, as always, to ask, answer, answer any, ask any questions that you might have. Uh, but I'm just going to kind of show you a few, maybe just one video that I did yesterday and point out a few of the things that I've kind of come up with in the template over the past few days as the first few people have actually ordered the done for you service. Um, where's a good one? They're not all great, but they're working. Um, to hear myself talk here. Here we are in a move-in ready two-bedroom condo that invites you in with large windows, nine-foot ceiling. Okay, so you know we have the whole four second thing going on, four or five seconds before they can skip in a lot of cases. So I'm trying to have a lot of energy up front. I think you know if you can do that, uh, the here we are, the first couple of words I say is trying to be, and I may come up with something better, but trying to just say uh, kind of bring them into the here and now, like a little hypnotic, like here we are together. Um, they're looking at a room in a house, hopefully it's, it's curiosity inducing. And then we have the call to action here, click the link below to see more pictures and pricing info. Uh, and you can also call if you want, call or text. I'm not expecting a ton of uh, leads to come you know, from this call or text right here, but you might get the occasional one, right? Uh, this is more about exposure for the listing, of course, and making your seller happy. All right, so let's keep going. ...and an open floor plan. It's in a highly coveted condo complex, conveniently located near some of the best shopping and dining around. So it's just a quick blurb about the property, not a full description. Um, you know, the, I, I'm just using what these people are sending me, their listing, uh, the listing info, and just picking out a sentence or two. And you should do the same thing. Don't, you know, pick out a thing or two and then leave it to them to click into your website where they're in your house or wherever you built the property page so that you have a chance to capture a, a, a lead there or build the relationship. If you'd like more details about this property, including the asking price and more pictures, go ahead and text or call the number on the screen or you can click the link below right now to check it out on our website. Also, so at this point, a lot of people, of course, are going to skip. Um, but for the people who are still hanging around and you, you might imagine that some of the people hanging around might just think this is interesting because they're thinking about selling their property. Uh, you might have some other agents you know, watching this thing too for this long. Uh, and here, Jeff did a text, right? I did text marketing plan to uh, the cell number of the agents, the same number, to learn more about how you can get a YouTube commercial like this one for your Fresno area property. Um, you know, how many listing leads are we gonna get from this? Uh, maybe, you know, on one video, maybe none, but if you do this 10 times, you know, <laughs> eventually you're going to hit somebody who's thinking about selling their house who just thinks it's interesting. You know, how do I get a YouTube commercial like this? Uh, if you have a FISBO out there watching this thing, they might think, whoa, this is I'm just curious. This is interesting. And you may get a direct seller lead from this here, right? And then, uh, of course, we've given you the training in the members area about how to do this. Uh, so if somebody, you don't have to be afraid of it now. If somebody texts marketing plan to you, just have the conversation, yeah, we'll get that done for you. You know, uh, we run YouTube courses. We also do Facebook ads for your listings, you know, and just go into it, everything else you do. So uh, big takeaway, I think. I think last week we weren't talking so much about this, um, but the big takeaway is here is you got the buyer lead potential, and right here is a direct seller lead potential as well. Um, I think that's huge for a lot of people. 
Okay, so let's go. So if you're thinking about selling a property in the Fresno area, we do some really cool marketing, including. Okay, I really cheese this up, and I'm I'm not doing this in more videos, but I go into a thing here about how cool we are, and I think it's a mistake. Um, but here you go. Videos like this. So if you'd like to know more about our marketing plan and how we might be able to help you sell a property fast uh, with as little stress possible, go ahead, call or text now. We'll be happy to talk to you a little more. Okay, I guess it wasn't so bad, but it's the second call to action. So property intro, um, uh, click to my website to learn more about the property. Uh, if you think this is pretty cool stuff and you think about selling a property, you can call me or text me about that as well. Uh, what's everybody think? Nobody said anything yet. I just want to make sure you guys can hear me. Nobody's yelling that you can't hear me, so I'm sure that's okay. But uh, has anybody done any of these yet? I'd love to see your video if you've done any of these, and just let me know if you've come. If you're as you're seeing this, if anything's coming to your mind that might enhance the process. Uh, this is intended to be kind of a mastermindy type thing to these sessions. Um, I said in the email that was mailed out today that we would then show you a little bit more about sort of the how-to behind getting these live for people who don't know. And I also want to get into the whole cards thing, which Paul brought up on the, in the Facebook group last week. YouTube has a new feature called Cards. Um, so let's go here to the info. You go to your, once you've uploaded it, you, go, you can go to this info and settings. There's a bunch of places where you can find it, but usually it's under the video when you're logged into your YouTube account. Um, uh, a couple things to point out. The title, I'm doing the address. And uh, we should probably be doing home for sale for the title, just so that it, it, it can be related. If somebody's looking at other real estate on YouTube, you have a good chance of being found next to them. And of course, you have a slight chance of being found organically in the search engines for the Fresno CA home for sale here. And then we're doing a simple click here for details. Maybe it would make sense to kind of have a little more SEO on the YouTube listing to just have the whole full listing you know, blurb down here, have more text and make it richer. Uh, I'm not sure right now, we're not so focused on the SEO aspect, but there is one here um, because uh, after you've run your campaign and you've run paid traffic to this YouTube video that you've created for the property, even though it's just a screencast of a simple, you know, picture and it took you 10 seconds to do or 30 seconds, forever this thing's gonna be on YouTube with the chance to get free traffic, even after the property sells. Um, so it is okay to, you know, pay attention to this. Uh, so I guess that's one of the takeaways. Pay attention to some of the SEO elements. Um, I have no idea what call to action overlay is. Maybe Jeff does. I need to, tomorrow I'll have an answer, but I just noticed this at a quarter of my eye. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Uh, I think it may have to do with the way the ad is run. He's been running all the ads. Um, wow. And if, if somebody's watched Jeff training about how to run the ad, and I'm just being a dope, is it, this may be something necessary to get the uh, actual ad run. Okay, uh, let's continue here with something I'm qualified to talk about, and we're gonna talk about cards in a minute, but uh, I'll, I'll update about this call to action overlay really once I talk to Jeff and figure out what it is. Um, can somebody say, hey, you guys are really quiet today. Nobody said anything, just, uh, I don't know. Tell me uh, if it's cold or hot in your area where you are right now. Something. Thank you, Tom. All right, Tom said, "Hey, that's that's perfect. Thank you." Okay, enhancements. Let's stay on this page. I'm going to save my changes here. Um, enhancements you can skip usually, but if you want, you know, if you think it's it's helpful to stabilize, uh, you can do that. I've also been really liking the um, the editing stuff that YouTube has built in. Um, I just trimmed a video, I trimmed the last 10 seconds off. It's really easy to use. You know, if we wanted to trim the last 10 seconds, we just simply do this and you know, you can trim it off or trim from the beginning. It's really useful. Um, we're not going to be putting audio in the background on these. Uh, and then the annotations, of course. And if this is... Uh, Here we are in a movie. Oh, you're on. Good. <laughs> Jason's actually on. Uh, the guy who this is for. So thank. I, I know I didn't tell you I'd be doing this. I hope you don't mind. Uh, now I feel like I'm caught. <laughs> if you remember, but uh, <laughs> no worries. Thanks, Jason. But we can talk after if you want. But um, Jason, who's listing this, is uh, is on. All right. And the annotations here. We have uh, the first one, right? And you simply create it and you drag what times you want to between, it's a little hard, 
I, I, I don't know, YouTube must have a, re a good reason for doing this, but they kind of make it so, you know, it's faint. It's hard. I imagine this being hard to read for a lot of people, but I think the black background with the white seems to look the best. Uh, when you go black on one of the yellows or something, it kind of starts to look weird. Here, I'll just show you. Like even that, black on the black, black on the yellow. I don't know, it seems harder for me to see, but that might be a personal preference thing, and maybe we should trust that YouTube knows what they're doing there. Uh, so, but I've been going black background, I think, like that, so that it really pops out. And then you can drag the second annotation for the seller lead right here, and you pick that. So we kind of like, as we transition to that, it pops up and holds their attention a little bit longer. Um, and I know this might be a review for you a lot of guys, but I wanted to bring it in for everybody so you just kind of knew how the video was being created. Uh, and that's about it. It's not that complicated. Here's the script. Click the link below to see more pictures. You can also call and text if you want. Uh, and you can text if you want to give a specific, you know, this is just your cell number. So if you want to give a specific, um, you know, key code so you know what it's about, you can do that there or just tell them to call direct. And now cards, which Paul brought up, we're not doing the cards in the done for you service because there's not much, uh, basically how cards work is that you're kind of linking them to other content you have. When we're doing the done for you service, it's all going under our listing tuber account. We're keeping things generic and we can't link, you can only tie a card to one website. So other than trying to sell more of the listing tuber service, there's not really a purpose. But for you guys who are doing this yourselves, um, you may want to add a card and associate your website. Um, and I'm going to jump over to, for the card demo, let's pretend we're on a, I'm going to jump over to another video where I have cards set up, another YouTube account. Here's an old video, which incidentally, I'm going to try to run this to sell Reticulous. Assuming everybody knows a real estate agent, well, we'll see what happens with a YouTube in-stream ad. Um, but if I go here to my card, my info, cards, okay. Okay, cards as far as I understand them, and Paul posted a good video to the, uh, private group. You see here how it says click here to get Reticulous and there's a little I and then there's some more content kind of linked. There's another video there. These are kind of the cards in action. Um, so you can click here and go out to our website. Um, you can click here and see another video. So you guys may want to create for your videos, uh, you may want to also have a card up here that says, um, all right, uh, how about a zero down financing question mark or something and, you know you may want to link to a video about how to you know about FHA or you know free list of foreclosures would be of course a great example for us and you would have uh, get a free list of foreclosures in Fresno and you have a link there to that um, so you can set these cards up within your YouTube account like so when you're editing the video you're going to go to cards And you're going to add a card, and it's going to make you associate. Okay, so before you can um, associate website, you're going to have to go to the settings thing here, and you're going to. This is a little technical, but you're going to need to link the website up to your account. Okay, uh, so uh, the YouTube walks you through it, but you're going to need to have it linked first. Then you can kind of do a direct. You can type it in here. create the card. And I think the idea is that these are going to look a lot better on mobile. Okay, that's the advantage to doing them. Uh, and then you can upload an image to associate with it. Uh, get Reticulous now. This is the little thing that kind of comes out in the teaser. Okay, I may want to be more specific. You can also add a card that takes people to another video of yours. So you can take them to a whole video or a playlist. That's really useful, you know, if you want to kind of have a uh, simple video that's, hey, like, that says, hey, thanks for, uh, you know, if you're thinking of buying and selling, do your own commercial off of all your other listing videos. That could be really useful. 
Um, and then we're not really doing the fundraising and merchandise, you know, for us in this use case, but they are there if you want to try to get donations and things like that. So your associated web website in another video definitely won't hurt to do in this little eye sign. And I think people are going to be used to seeing this as this beta feature is rolled out through YouTube and uh, they could be a good source of clicks. Any questions about that or, you know, kind of, kind of like at this point, ah, good to know, but we'll get to that later. Yeah, we don't have any hard data. And you know, part of the problem, I guess you're going to have to, in order to track this, is you're going to need some tracking at your website. Because we can't even use, we have to use Retecos. We can, you know, maybe I can put a link to a specific page and check the referrals, but it's going to be hard to track how much traffic we're actually getting from this. Now, I'm trying to think, was there anything else in that email that we talked about. I'm going to defer to Jeff's training about how to run the ad because it was really comprehensive. Um, and you know, if you follow step by step, this is exactly what he's doing, um, and you can get your clicks. Um, you know, pretty. You get your impressions. You tell your seller, "Hey, I'm going to do this." You say, "Hey, we got you a thousand. We got you five thousand impressions." Um, and just follow Jeff's thing, and it'll work well for you. Uh, I think critical here, if you follow Jeff's instructions about the traffic is that you're running the right kind of video. Um, you need to have lead capture embedded. Just running one of those slideshows from Animoto for the listing probably isn't going to get you too far. You really need to try to push them off into your website, uh, tell them to text you, and uh, that's what we're trying to do here. And maybe it'll get better. You know, this is going to evolve, but I think what we've got here is kind of a protocol that should work pretty well. Uh, and we know that you know from the, the few listings I've done already that it, it does generate referral traffic. So. That's a good thing. Uh, Jason has a, uh, Jason, I thought your site was really good, if you don't mind me sharing it too, as an example of where people are being pushed off into. Do you mind sharing, I just forget the URL off the top of my head. Um, thank you, Frez, yes. So Jason has a, um, great, so here's one of the listing pages. Jason has a, a blog that seems to be, I didn't dig in too far, but it's kind of a local news kind of site that doubles as his real estate site. Um, it's nice and sharp, it's simple layout, you know. Uh, and so this is where people are landing. And I think there's a big advantage to doing this, and I may not see it here, but he has a cool pop-up that comes up that's like, get local news. He's got some great lead capture elements here. He's got up top, hello bar, when I click this, it's probably going to do something to capture me, I'm assuming, or it's at least going to shuffle people off into the main real estate portion of his site. Yeah, see, I'm interested in buying, I'm interested in selling. Great, coming soon. Sorry to put you on the spot, Jason. It's all right. But he's got the workings of a really good, he's got lead capture elements in here. Is my point. Uh, what's your house worth, right? It's going to be able to click that and get that. Um, probably want to do something at the bottom as people scroll down. Uh, you've got what's my home worth right here. Uh, I love the below because I know how well it works. I just put one for subscribers on uh, retechnos.com. When you have something under the content here, it just does really well. You know, under the comment box or above the comment box, if you can sneak that in, just any anything. What's your house worth, foreclosure list, something of that nature. So when people click off the YouTube pre-roll ad, they're going to land here. They're going to get, as promised, more details about the property. They can see the price. They can get the description. They can scroll down and get more pictures right here, as promised. But then they're here in your house. You want to make sure you capture the lead. So uh, I just kind of got lucky that Jason's site was pretty good for this. Uh, one of them we did for Realtor.com. That's not ideal. Um, but you're going to want to try to think about, as you run, run these, these uh, tube listings, for individual listings where people are landing so you can get the most out of the money you're spending. <laughs> you just redid, yeah. But it's a good, I like this site. I mean, it's just, it's clean. The people, places, lifestyle, and homes of Fresno. Sounds like he just redesigned it. Um, and there's other people. You had a great pop-up, and I don't know if maybe if I go to an incognito window, I can show people. But I thought the way the pop-up hit me would be great, you know, if people were being shoved in from a listing and then being offered this, I can see how it would build you a list pretty efficiently. Okay, 
might not get it now. So what do you do if somebody tells you a story? I guess that's somebody you get into a conversation with. Tell your friends you have a story. Cool. That's a great. I, I liked it. I mean, this is a great little piece of uh, lead capture here. Tell your friends you have a story. Um, bribe, maybe. Um, Eventually, I don't know what your budget's like. Maybe bribe them somehow. Give Starbucks gift card, something, something wild. You know, a cup of coffee on us. Tell us about your president's story. See if maybe that gets more. Because this is all user-generated content. I don't know how you have this set up, but you know, plugins like Formidable will let you actually create a post on the site in the queue, and then you can you have user-generated content here too. Oh yeah, he says user-generated content. There we go. What plugin are you using? Gravity Forms or, or Formidable? Oh, and there it is, the Be a Fresh Yes Insider. Uh, sign up today for free and be the first to get notified. Um, be a Fresh Yes Insider. How about offer them, I don't know if you're doing this, sign up today, uh, get notified of the new post, and also special deals at local businesses or something like that. Sexy that up. So Gravity Forms, Formidable I know does it. Uh, and yeah, this is awesome. Uh, tell us your story, creates content on the site. Um, nice trap here and it totally makes sense you know, for Jason to be using different mediums of traffic generation, including the YouTube ads to get people here. Uh, and you know, going back to where we started in these YouTube listing ads, so much is going on. Buyer lead generation, seller lead generation. If you've got a seller who uh, is maybe the listing is getting stale and you're trying to you need something new to grab at to kind of keep, keep the listing another few weeks, keep them feeling like you're working for them so that maybe it sells, boom, you can do this. Um, you know, you're going to close more listing appointments. Well, maybe not, but you know, maybe most people list with you because they like you and you're just good anyway. But it's not going to hurt to be in your listing presentation and say, hey, I'm doing this now. And uh, keep in mind, other people may take note that you're doing this. You know, it's not, uh, you know, if somebody's thinking about listing their house, you, you could generate direct seller lead. It's pretty cool. Okay. Um, does anybody have anything else you'd like to talk about today? We've been going down this road a bit here. For the few weeks before that, we were, um, you know, we were doing a lot of stuff with Lead Barrel, uh, which is still out there. Uh, one way, if you don't have a really good landing page for your uh, for your videos, you can always pop a YouTube video or a few pictures of the property uh, into a Lead Barrel page, and then have a, a form that collects that builds your list to say. You know, get future videos like these. So you do the cheesy teaser video in your YouTube ad, do a real video of the property, like a real tour in your lead barrel page, and then below that just say get more videos of Fresno area homes you know, or wherever, Philadelphia homes. Can a lender market a property? This is a good, great question, Tom. Can a lender market a property to generate buyers for an agent? I don't see any reason why not. Um, you know, assuming you have the, the listing agent's permission and the, and the listing agent then has permission from the seller, you know, and everybody's kosher. But this could be, Tom, this could be a wonderful way for you to, you know, do something that's not donuts in the morning to get, to bring more agents into your fold and get more referrals. So you might, a little bit way of doing it differently would be, sure, you, you run the, the listing, but instead of doing the, the um, listing call to action, you know, if you like this and we're trying to generate a seller lead, you might do, Call or text here to learn how to uh, buy a house in Fresno for less than X dollars out of pocket or zero down. Whatever matches the sexiest you know program you might have right now. Even if you're describing 203K or something, you know, pretty vanilla. Um, so you'd advertise the property, get clicks over to the listing for the agent, build goodwill with the agent, but then also be doing some direct buyer lead gen for yourself. Yeah, great idea. And, uh, you know, just a little plug, you guys have all seen us doing it. Um, we know, uh, we just know that not everybody, even the guys on my team, Mike and Jeff, I was like, hey, what do you, I tried to push it off, the video is doing it, and they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mike's like, I think you better do it. I'm like, okay. I know that not everybody's comfortable blabbing on a video, so we are offering it as a done for you. Um, you know, it's as cheap as we can get it, considering I've got to stop for 10 minutes and create this thing and upload it and tag it, you know. Um, but uh, we can do it for you, and if it's, if it's easier for you 
to just do this for all your listings and have us do it. We are willing to, we're willing to work out bulk pricing if you're a lender and you just want to, you know, order a lot of these and uh, we'll work with you. So that's just listingtuber.com. You'll see the button below. Okay, well, before we go today, guys, uh, remember there was, we did the session last Thursday about the social, auto social posting process. You can use City Blast for that, or you can do, um, you know, there's a bunch of tools you can hodgepodge together. Uh, it is a good idea to set that up. Um, uh, thanks, Jason. Thanks for the kind feedback. Uh, hopefully, you know, I hope this, you should start getting results soon. Again, this is one of those things where it's not direct lead generation, so we're always worried that a lot of the benefits are intangible and then you'll get the occasional lead. We can't tie spend directly to guaranteed lead flow. Um, but I hope it works out for you. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow. Is there anything you guys want to talk about tomorrow? I have no topic. Say it now, we'll probably do it. Okay, maybe I'll just take it off tomorrow. Just kidding. Okay. Thanks for being on today, guys. I'll get the recording in the, uh, on the members area by this time tomorrow, and we'll see you live again at 3 o'clock tomorrow. Is there a quick reference manual on how to build these? Yeah, Tom, I'm sorry. Um, I had it here on the pitch page, but it occurred to me, people were telling me it was too confusing. They didn't know how to order because like, we had the training on the same page we were selling a service. So in the members area, I will get the, the two videos that detail this process uh, in an organized place. We'll just put it right under trainings. But for now, if you watch the two blog posts right here, you're gonna watch, you're gonna look at the one, here's the last recorded session, these two, how to set up the ad, and then how to make the quick little dirty video, which I may replace to add in the seller stuff. But here's how, this is the juicy one from Jeff, the good stuff, this is me being a bum. Uh, here's Jeff really getting detailed <laughs> right here, how to actually set it up, okay? So, uh, there you go. Thank you, brah. Thanks, Mark. All right, see everybody later. Bye.